My dear friends in Christ, a very warm welcome to you. Thanks for joining me to reflect on Mark chapter 10 verses 46 to 52 for the 30th Sunday in Ordinary Time. The theme is Courage, He is Calling You. Fear is a natural instinct of survival. In danger, we have two responses, fight or flight. To stay and fight is courage, but to run is cowardice as some say. Growing up in the early 60s in the rural part of Singapore then, we had no electricity in the beginning and walking at night in pitch darkness was normal for us. I remember having to walk in darkness on a dirt road after I had gone out to do some errands or even for a movie at the open air Pongo Theatre. Once I was walking back at late at night after a movie and I, a dog saw me and started to chase me. Immediately I found myself sprinting in the darkness and after a short distance I fell into a side ditch. Thankfully I was not too badly hurt. Indeed we learn to overcome all kinds of fears in our lives. The amazing thing is that we are stronger than we think. In situations of danger and dire needs, we seem to be capable of summoning up enough strength and faith in our reserve tank to stay and fight. This is what happened to Bartimaeus in our gospel this week. He threw his cloak and caution to the wind and dug deep in his faith and call out to Jesus with all his might, Son of David, Jesus, have pity on me. Mark chapter 10, uh, verse 47. While the focus on the gospel is about the power of Jesus to give sight to the blind and hence to authenticate his divine authority, we must not forget that the spotlight is also on Bartimaeus and his faith response. He overcame the social conventions of niceties and politeness and societal pressures of conformity of the day and the culture in order to call to attention the, to Jesus for help. Moreover, he gave credence and recognition to the divinity of Jesus by calling him Son of David, a title that links Jesus to his prophetic lineage to David and to the fulfillment made to Abraham to be a source of blessings for all generations. In short, Bartimaeus believed in the power of Jesus to heal him and he thus acknowledged Jesus to be his master or Rabuni even before he cured him. Jesus responded by affirming his faith and paid him a compliment when he said to him, Go, your faith has saved you. Mark chapter 10 verse 52 this echoes the faith of Jeremiah when he said in the first reading from Jeremiah, The Lord has saved his people. Jeremiah chapter 31 verse 7. It is clear that Jesus draws out the best in us in desperate and dark times. In these moments of distress and despair, we do well to hear him say to us, Courage, they say, get up, he is calling you. Mark chapter 10 verse 50. When Jesus calls us, all we have to do is to respond and respond with great faith and joy. Even when we lack courage and feel like running away from a situation or someone, we need to stop and pray. This attitude is best expressed by St. Padre Pio who said, Pray, hope and don't worry. Worry is useless. God is merciful and will hear your prayers. St. Padre Pio and so with that, let us have two questions for reflections. The first question is, looking back at my life, how did you summon enough courage to overcome a particular challenge or difficulty? The second question is, Jesus asks, what do you want me to do for you? Tell Jesus what you want him to do for you now. So on that note, I invite you to join me to say the prayer together with Mother Mary for protection. Mary, you shine continuously on our journey as a sign of salvation and hope. We entrust, you to, we entrust ourselves to you, health of the sick. At the foot of the cross, you have participated in Jesus' pain with steadfast faith. You, salvation of the Roman people and of the whole world, know what we need. We are certain that you will provide so that as you did 
at Cana of Galilee, joy and feasting might return after this moment of trial. Help us, Mother of Divine Love, to conform ourselves to the Father's will and to do what Jesus tells us. He who took on our sufferings upon himself and bore our sorrows to bring us through the cross to the joy of the resurrection. We seek a refuge under your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our pleas, we who are put to the test, and deliver us from every danger, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. And so, thank you for joining me and have courage, for Jesus is calling you.